Katherine Hepburn, that's her right there. She's the greatest female star ever. That's according to the American Film Institute. She worked in Hollywood for more than six decades, and she earned four Academy Awards. In a partnership with the Durham Museum, starting next month, Film Streams will show 11 of her most beloved titles. And Rachel Jacobson is here to preview that series and more of what's coming soon to Omaha's nonprofit cinema. Good to see you, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you guys. Happy 2015. Happy New Year. Yeah. Thank you. You, too. you guys are excited down there at Film Streams for this upcoming year. Oh, I know that. Yeah, absolutely. We've got but, a lot going on. Like yeah, let's talk about this first film, though. It's a film we've seen advertised a little bit. It's called Inherent Vice, mm -hmm. right? Yes, Inherent Vice. So this is uh, Paul Thomas Anderson's latest. And, um, you know, he's a really, really interesting director. He did There Will Be Blood, and he did The Master. Mm -hmm. And the cast on this one is yeah, star-studded. Joaquin Phoenix, and... Um, What's it about? It's kind, The promos are kind of unusual. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or it's a, it's yeah. Kind of well, up. okay, so, uh, so it's kind of a mixture of The Long Goodbye and The Big Lebowski, in a way. Uh, everyone keeps relating it to The Big Lebowski. The interesting thing is, so Thomas Pinchon, who's this novelist that I've never been able to tackle, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, everyone thought his books are kind of unadaptable. And this is the first time one of his books have been adapted mm -hmm. into a film. And it's kind of this L.A. noir film. Um, and I think it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of jokes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that come out of this one? Yeah, Wait, yeah. When does it open at Film Streams? Uh, it opens Friday. It right. opens tomorrow. So, so like to yeah, it's still yeah, free. We'll be playing for a few weeks. Let's get back to Katherine Hepburn. We started this visit <laughs> showing that picture of her. Oh, my gosh. Isn't so, she amazing? Yeah, and, and in so many ways, mm -hmm. film and style. I mean, she really set the pace. Yeah. Um, still to this day. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so what are you doing in partnership with the Durham? Well, so the Durham is doing this great exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to show um, a bunch of Katherine Hepburn's costumes mm -hmm. from her films. Cool. And so in conjunction with that, it was um, a no-brainer to mm -hmm. do a series of Katherine Hepburn films. She's one of my all-time famous actresses. And the other cool thing... Uh, I mean, all-time favorite actresses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and another cool thing is that we're going to launch the series with, this is a still from Philadelphia Story. Well, actually, it looks like a promotional picture from Philadelphia Story. So you've got Jimmy Stewart and Cary Grant in mm -hmm. there. And, um, and uh, so we're going to launch the series with the Valentine's Day screening of Philadelphia Story. Yeah. And Borshines is going to sponsor it. It's going to be totally free. Great. And um, that'll be, it, it, it's a Saturday night this year, Valentine's Day. So yeah. February 14th. And yeah. then and you can see totally the other ten. Free. I like totally uh -huh. free. Totally free is Not fun, bad. and that's thanks to Borsheim. So yeah. really cool. And of then you also have in January you have this series throughout the month. It's um, um what is it? It's a, it's some sort it's of about series. Music. Well, David Bowie, oh, yes. oh, David Bowie, I know. Oh, David Bowie's in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we have this um, every Sunday in January. So we started off with Bjork, that, and then the, the next one this Sunday is David Bowie. It's this um, film about this exhibit that's touring museums throughout the country. Mm -hmm. I think it was in Chicago most recently. Um, and it's an exhibit all about his career because he's such an amazing artist. The way that, um, you know, everything from his album covers to his, mm -hmm. you know, to the way he designed his shows, you know, I mean, beyond the music, he has such an incredible visual element to mm -hmm. all of his work and the whole Ziggy Stardust thing. Mm -hmm. And he's such an amazing actor. I mean, musician. Well, he is an actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are there any other artists? Yeah, this month you're yeah. At? So, so then there'll be the Mekons, which is this punk rock band that's kind of underground. Mm -hmm. But that'll be a really fun documentary. Um, and then the last one is about Nas. Mm -hmm. It's about the rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, He's an interesting person. He is a really interesting. His life person. doesn't start or end with music. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's a, a great artist. And this one's about the making of this album that he did, Illmatic. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of his first records that's really, really important. And um, so I think that'll be a really that's interesting cool. one. I like the range. Yeah, and yeah. we'll see if a lot of people show up. This might be a regular thing that we do. Like every Sunday, we do mm -hmm. some sort of music. That'd be cool. Well, you're always mixing it up. And you're mixing it up with this Forever Young series, too. This is one of yeah, our favorite series. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have this coming winter for Forever Young? Yeah, well, Saturdays, Sundays, and Thursdays, we always have matinees for, that are appropriate for families. And we try to do, um, you know, a lot of the time it'll be a classic. Sometimes it'll be a foreign film, mm -hmm. you know, but just <clears> something that's a little bit more rich for, or it, it, you know, that people don't know about. And we're starting with The Red Balloon, yeah. which is one of my all-time favorites. Um, it's a French film from the 50s, and um, it's just a beautiful story about this little boy. A nice thing about this is that it's a good one for little kids because it's very short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
not going to get too restless for the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then we have a bunch of really interesting ones. There's one that I think might get a nomination um, for uh, Best Animated Film. It's called um, Song of the Sea. Mm -hmm. It's an Irish um, film, and we actually played another one called Secret of the Kells. Mm -hmm. It's um, really beautiful animation, and um, so um, so that one's really exciting, and it's an Irish folk legend, uh -huh. so, you know, um, Irish people might be interested in that and one. And then last, we were talking earlier about Well, we had the People's Choice, Choice Awards last night. It was oh, yeah. awards season. TV, though. Oh, yeah. But the film award season's coming up. Yeah, too. yeah, so exactly. Are, We're so are excited. Are you going to be showing some potential Oscar-nominated films? Well, I think we've showing? already shown yeah. a lot of potential Oscar-nominated films. I mean, Boyhood, oh, obviously. Yeah, that's one. We had Ella is... Coltrane on the show last week. Oh, um, talk, you're yeah, kidding. talking that about so the process cool. of oh, making it. it. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, oh. but you know, of course, it took 12 years to make that film, yeah. and so it was groundbreaking in that way. Right. Yeah. Had a lot of buzz surrounding it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Richard Linklater, the, uh -huh. the director of yeah. that film. But then you've also got these shorts, right? So for a lot of us who aren't right. going to see these yeah. nominations, yeah. these nominees, but we've got a chance to through yeah. film streams. Yeah. So do you have an organized way to take in some of those shorts? Yeah, yeah. We mm -hmm. do this every year. We we play uh, the Oscar shorts, and so these are a couple of categories that people don't usually get to see. The mm -hmm. live action. Um, we do three different programs. There's the live action shorts, which is one category, and the animated shorts, which mm -hmm. is another category, and then the documentary shorts. And so those will start. Um, the live action and the animated start on January 30th, and um, because the nominations are not yet, so yeah. we don't even know no, what we're going to be showing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's wonderful. Magnolia, this distri distributor that we work with, they put together this whole program, mm -hmm. and so you basically just sit down and you pay for a ticket and you watch all the nominees all at once. And that's it's, great. Um, it's a really fun experience, well, and it makes watching the Oscars later even, even better. More fun. Right, you can yeah. enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah. And you guys are busy down there at FilmStreams, filmstreams.org, and you wrapped up feature. Among or two ago, mm -hmm. and I right heard that was a great success. It was, it was a blast. Yeah, yeah. 333. Oh, thanks for coming. 0259. Mm -hmm. Rachel Jacobs, thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. We'll see Good you to see you guys. Yeah, we'll thank see you. you. Soon. Thanks, All right, next uh, health insurance plan that's a first and only. What well, might make sense for you? Later, snack ideas that are just as kind to your taste buds as your waistline. Carrie Glassman is going to join us at 940. Thanks, Ray.